What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I shared this image on a few of my social media pages and some of you were confused as to why this is a problem. Now, as you see in the thumbnail and in the video title, this is a problem because you can see that this film, Jeepers Creepers Reborn, was dedicated to Nathan Forrest Rent Winters. Now, again, many will ask, well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that is going off of what we know about Jeepers Creepers Reborn and how Myriad Pictures has taken this crew to court allegedly for them going about getting this movie done in all the wrong ways and going under the rug and getting it done. If they didn't contact Myriad Pictures about a fourth movie who alleges that they should have in terms of the not not just going over and producing that on your own and then selling it to screen media something they're alleging should not have happened if they didn't contact myriad about this why would they have contacted victor salva's victim nathan Forrest winters about getting permission to say hey you do do you want this dedicated to you even still the whole thought of that seems a little bit bizarre to me why would you want to dedicate this movie to that man why why as far as I can tell, Nathan wants nothing to do with anything related to Victor Salva. He wants no ties to him at all whatsoever. You yourself have already gone out of your way to make it clear that this movie was supposed to be a breath of fresh air. This is it, something like that just shows me that this this was a clear one and done cash grab attempt at capitalizing off of an IP and doing something like that during your end credits is just unacceptable it's unacceptable for so many reasons one being again that you try to say that you're trying to start fresh if you're trying to start fresh why put something like that at the end of the credits why dedicate this movie to that guy it makes no sense absolutely no sense let him have his piece let this ip exist without him getting intertwined in it and again, I doubt that they have reached out to Nathan. I could be mistaken, but I doubt Nathan was contacted about this. Nathan him and of Nathan himself, I think, was very active on social media at one point, but has not been very active in the in the coming months. I think I haven't seen him posted since 2021. It's just a little bit bizarre to me that you would go out of your way to dedicate a, a fourth entry in a revived or an attempt to revive an extinguished IP made by his abuser and dedicated to him i just don't understand a mentality i don't even know why he would be okay with that it's just it's just really not making all that much sense you went out of your way to say hey this is supposed to be a breath of fresh air but then you know what let's dedicate this to to nathan Ford's winters something that is completely unacceptable now if you don't know again who nathan is nathan is the one that kind of is not kind of he is unfortunately he is Victor Sal's victim, the one that everyone knows during the production of Clown House. Uh, There's a lot of a lot of foul play going on. Let's just say I'll, I'll just say foul play going on between this individual and Victor Salva. And Nathan himself has gone out of his way to I think at one point he tried to protest certain movies coming out by Salva. And I'm not going to tell that I'm not going to come on here and tell you that, that he is wrong to do that. I don't think he's wrong at all if anything though i do think that this crew is wrong for doing this at the end of this movie dedicating this to nathan is unnecessary if you wanted to again be a breath of fresh air nothing at all whatsoever and then i mean even on top of that timo himself went out of his way to put out a tweet saying salva is not benefiting this from any way salva may not be benef benefiting from this in any way in terms of directly related to any box office revenue from this but now that you made it made a decision to have the film dedicated to what to his abuse to his uh victim it's like people are gonna people people are gonna associate this with victor salva in any capacity at this point if they if they pay attention to the credits and know who who this person is that you just dedicated this movie to it's really just ridiculous and and shows i would say a lack of in, a lack of competence even further when it comes to who's in charge of directing who the producers were and so many other components that are just not making sense when it comes to jeepers creepers are born I just hope that all of this can be settled in some fashion when it relates to this court case and we can step away entirely from Victor Salva 
I'm at a point now where I'm like, if they even have him involved with the fifth one, if that were to happen, or any or any potential TV series, I'm just like, well, how how can you make it? How can you make it happen that will satisfy anyone at that point if he's involved? So many people just don't want Victor Salva involved. They want him gone, and they 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 don't mind keeping his his art in the sense of they are willing to separate the art from the artist and get that man out of the picture if someone else can come along and give a new spin on it that doesn't try to do something that again i believe might have been in good faith by dedicating it to nathan it just still was wrong and honestly there is a part of me that thinks that there was some some shade tr trying to be thrown there because uh, there's that rumor again out there that i've been told related to something something regarding victor salva potentially being responsible in some capacity or having some involvement with this fourth movie and if that is somehow true that would make the dedication to nathan that much more sick that would be like him taunting him that is disgusting why they did this again i feel as though it was done i want to hope it was at least done with an effort of good faith but it's completely unnecessary you should not have done it you want it to start clean that is not a good way to start clean i mean even on top of that a lot of people would just say it's baffling that you would want to even dedicate something as terrible and horrifically produced and executed as jeepers creepers are born to anyone let alone victor's victim it's disgusting so we'll ultimately see what ends up happening with this ip going forward i just want to share my thoughts on that and give context on anyone who might have been confused by the image that is what the problem is the problem is that, that name you see who was dedicated that is victor salva's victim which clearly to some people will show a sign of incompetence even further shows a sign that you don't care about starting new you really wanted to just come in here and make a quick buck of course we don't have all the answers a lot of this is just me making assumptions but i really do i really do not believe that nathan was contacted i do not believe he was contacted at all whatsoever i believe that they were trying to do something they thought was in good faith but it's not it's unnecessary and if you want to move away from salva don't address anything that has to do with him that would include something as sensitive as that something very sensitive that's like that's probably at the top of the list dedicating the movie to his victim that is disgustingly horrific that's disgusting let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video